Let's see if we can't go find some mulch. Got the good old Home Depot. 333. It's not it's not horrible. Let's see if we can get a bulk price. I'll be honest, y'all, I think I think that red mulch is about as ugly as it gets. <laughs> God, and then people install it on red houses. Gross. Alright, 333. Let's see if we can't get a pallet loaded up. We're just going to get them to load up a uh, full pallet in the dump trailer. I'll just store it in the pole barn and that way I can just use it for jobs without having to, you know, dump out a whole bunch of loose, bulked mulch. That was like watching, you know, five monkeys try to, try to mess around with a football. You know what I mean? Wow, but it's like good grief. Let's let's get it in gear, folks. Always set the old parking brake, man. Um, whenever they're loading your trailer up, um, you don't want you know don't want them to be jerking your truck around. Set that parking brake. Nothing else. I'll at least be able to document the damage they do. <laughs> A lot of people ask like why why bag mold why bolt mold we do we do both um and i'll say like i've said in a previous video nine times out of ten for us it makes sense to do bag mulch there's a few reasons for that number one it's easier to transport uh, across the property. Um, number two, cleanup's easier. Number three, storage. Like, whatever you don't use, it just, just goes back in the storage unit or goes back into my pole barn. Um, we don't have the big yard where we just have to dump a bunch of stuff out. Anyways, this is what they're gonna load up for us. Like I said, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. So again, uh, Many times it's uh, it's cleaner for us to, to use the bag mulch. Bag mulch is easier to just transport around the yard. It's easier for uh, the cleanup. It's easier for us to store the bagged mulch. Like whenever, if you have some leftover bulk bolt, and you gotta find something to do with all that stuff. You either waste it, or you gotta have a yard or somewhere to dump that stuff. And then finally, like picking the, the bags up, like having to, having to pitchfork the bulk mulch into a wheelbarrow and then dump it out that's a lot more labor intensive than just grabbing the bags and throwing four or five bags in the wheelbarrow um it's just it just the whole workflow is just a lot lot smoother um for us whenever we are using the bag mulch always double and triple check make sure it's closed that's good uh make sure that stuff stays wrapped up don't be using loose pallets that aren't wrapped up that stuff comes flying off. Um, anytime I'm parked, man, I'm just in a habit of checking my uh, trailer tires. Um, you know, I just always always like to keep a good eye on it. Like, see, like this one right here, this one's a little low. I literally just saw that. I guarantee you that one's low. I probably got a nail in this one somewhere. Prime example, always keep an eye on that stuff, man. Um, so whenever I get home, I'm gonna have to look at that and figure out why that one is uh, has a slow leak in it. Anyways, just a good idea to just always do walk around, safety checks, you know, double check everything you're doing. So, so as I was getting loaded up, I had a uh, estimate come through on our website. Uh, looked like for basic lawn mowing, and they were looking for fertilization and weed control. So. Um, I'm gonna just take this call real quick and I'll just let you hear how I uh, touch base with one with, with a prospective client. Let's check it out. To Verizon Wireless, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please hang up. And well, that did not work out. I'm gonna have to send him an email. The uh, phone number he put in there is, uh, is not working. Uh, real quick, guys, I always We'll come in here and just just double check 
I think I mentioned that in a previous video, but I mean, you just never know. And I actually did check this one over here before I got going, but you just never know if there's Christmas lights in there, landscape cables, whatever. It's just always a good idea before you start throwing head trimmers around to check. that first bit is just a uh a rough cut and we'll just kind of get the bulk of this material out another thing about bag and mulch is all this material is not going to get mixed in with a bunch of mulch in my trailer right now it all stays separated and clean All right, so we got the, uh, the that rough cut done just to get some of the bulk out of it. Now we'll come in here and tighten everything up a little more uniformly, get the major bulk of the grass out of the bed, which just smells so good. Like that dead grass, that fall and winter dead grass smells so good to me. Maybe I'm weird. All right, this will be a wrap for the head trimming portion what we had to do so transitioning between pieces is pretty easy pretty easy little thing to do Uh, variegated flax lily stuff comes back every year every year it comes back so again you just see how easy it is to just keep your debris separated from your actual good material again if this is bulk it'd be all kind of getting mixed up in there together so just another little benefit of uh of using the bag Something else too is I never uh, told y'all this. I carry this thing all the time. Leatherman Skeletal, all right? Absolutely fantastic tool. Um, but don't cut out more of this plastic wrapping than you actually need to do the job. Again, it just kind of keeps everything nice and secure whenever you're riding down the road. All right, so we got about a little quarter layer off. Let's start with that. Something I do is, is this just may be me, but I always start at the far end and work my way back. Maybe it's just, I don't know, psychological, but I always like to just work that way when I'm fresh. As we get more and more involved in the job, you got much 
shorter trip with your wheelbarrow. All right, let's do this. Okay, to that point, I threw those five bags into this wheelbarrow in about 20, 20 seconds. Five bags, that's about, that's about one third of a yard of mulch. 13.5 bags is one yard of mulch. I promised it would have taken a lot longer to fill this wheelbarrow up with a pitchfork and having to um, manually get it in here. I mean, I literally just put this in here in 20 seconds, much quicker. And you carry more. Let's go. Another thing is as you're using the uh, bagged mulch, work out of your wheelbarrow, meaning don't take this stuff and double touch it and throw it on the ground and try and stage it all over the place. I see you guys doing that sometimes and you're, you're double touching it. You want to touch this as few times as possible. So again, I just like to work out of the wheelbarrow. Don't grab it and throw it on the ground. If you touch it, it goes down, all right? All right, that's two bags. Going we'll around through these five real quick. Three bags. And again, I'm not having to bend over from the ground. That's what sucks up so much energy. Work off of, off of a platform. Alright, four bags. Let's get the last one. Let's roll them up. I'll get one bag. There's my trash bag for the day. We already got pretty good coverage going on. That, I mean, that was quick, like super quick. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a second. cleanup you know where you just have to walk around and do that last little bit I know we're ready to go when we get near the end of these jobs but you get a huge bang for your buck right here by just doing that last little bit it's only about five more minutes maybe ten more minutes but It's the difference of when they walk out realizing that the job was done or if hey he took the time to pick up everything that doesn't look just right in the bed and that's a big deal to folks again i i try to instill that in my guys and i think for the most part they are on the same page with me. Looks great, looks good, looks real good. A 
fresh mulch. Got all those winter grasses that were dead pruned down. We'll get it loaded up and move on to the next one.